Hello Taurus, thank you for clicking on my channel and welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. We're going to do a reading for the winter, the winter months ahead. Indeed. And it's snowing today, our first snowfall. I'm sitting on November 1st, All Saints Day. Let's see if we can grab some of those vibrations. The snow will be gone by tomorrow. That's the way it is in Nova Scotia. It snows one day, it's spring the next. The head of your reading, cards were pre-shuffled to save time. And the head of your reading will affect all the cards that are laid out underneath it. We have temptation. <coughs> Capricorn energy. The messenger of water. Is this temptation to take advantage or because you have a certain power over someone? This is a, an offer of love that is genuine. Is the temptation to take it for granted or advantage? All relationships are codependent. But the, the temptation may be just, well, maybe it isn't about, well, it kind of looks that way though, doesn't it? The five of earth. Perhaps you're holding a bit of a grudge because the five of pentacles is the feeling of loss or something that was not rightfully taken from you. But this five of earth is about all of your gifts that you came to this earth with, they're still there. You haven't lost them, even if you felt you have. Perhaps you felt you lost this person due to some temptation you give into or want to give into. This is genuine though. I think they'd forgive you. Eight of water. This is about walking away from something this could be walking away from a certain behavior, letting go of grudges, or feelings of animosity. Perhaps this beautiful, genuine offer of love coming in is what helps you to walk away from temptation. Seven of water, lots of opportunities. If at first you didn't succeed, that opportunity will come around again. This is also indicating that by walking away from the old, going for that holy grail, you've already accumulated eight uh, chalices of water and that's on the way to completion. And there is the danger of step stepping back. And there's the seven, from the eight to the seven, there's the danger of stepping back. But this is also about opportunities and choosing wisely. What are the choices for you going forward? Are the choices about love, about money? Passion, truth. The chariot, this offer of love, genuine. As I keep saying genuine because I'm really feeling the genuine love there. <coughs> chariot is cancer energy. This is Pisces energy. The battle wagon. This energy is racing towards you. This love is racing towards you. Feels like an, an energy of fighting for that love. The five of fire is right under the five of earth, so there's big changes coming to you. Big, big changes. Radical. Like, that's what fives are. The five of fire is conflict. Inner conflict, outer conflict it has to do with this temptation. Page of water, 
So these two are at the heart of your reading, this conflict to create something new, to walk away from something and create something new. Is this new love? Is this uh, getting rid of old behaviors and not taking for granted? Uh, Taurus is really earthy energy though, with the page of water and the five of fire might feel a little confusing. And yeah, because of this change, there's this big change coming this winter for you. Justice bringing to balance. Maybe what it's bringing to balance are these fives. That feeling that you've lost something of value, but these are all your gifts that you were born with. You'd never lose those. Though they may be clouded from your vision for a time, temptation does that. That's the devil card. The five of fire, the conflict. Is it a purge? Maybe you're fearful because, well, being that earthy energy of yours, and we are um, picking up hugely over these months our telepathic abilities. All humans are psychic. And with you connecting with it, may feel a little unnerving, like walking away from what you, you know, have been grounded in, in order to seek out that value. And if you don't take that opportunity, it will come around for you again. Maybe this is for you singles, many opportunities of love coming in but there's one important one here so this is Libra energy balance balancing the scales so it's uh, it feels like the balancing of earth fire and water balancing these in order to create this the lovers Gemini energy well, it says love, but this would be the mirror image of this. The codependency, the partnership, the true love that brings balance, that doesn't take for granted or advantage. And you know, we're all human. We all do it. We all fall into that temptation when it's too easy to take advantage of. But I'll remind you, Taurus, we're leaving an old world. We're in the throes of the death of that old world. The new one is emerging. The moon card, Pisces energy, once again, this is about connecting. This is about your path and some help coming to you the light of the moon, the light of your psychic side of you that you may not have even been aware existed. But as I said in one of my videos uh, called Regaining Telepathy, this is what's happening to us, being able to connect and connect with this love energy. And it's, it's racing. Is this the pitter-patter of new love? The hermit. Well, you know what artists do when they're creating a new work of art. They, they like to be alone. The hermit holds the light from the right brain into the left brain to navigate. So we see you balancing or that hermit mode is going within balancing emotion with practicality, logic, logic. Ace of Earth is the same as the Ace of Pentacles. This is the, the beginning of a new project. New year, new ideas, new project. And this new project brings out these gifts you were born with. Perhaps it's a purging of the old. 
and that fire that lights your way. So coming out of hermit mode, maybe you went into hermit mode with, you know, lovey-dovey here. A lot of love there. But new project, balance, opportunities. So this looks like, as well, opportunities to um, regain value, wealth, make you see that you never lost it. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> oh, pardon me. The Emperor is now clarifying the temptation card. So let's talk about that for a minute. This is about taking control. So don't let power go to your head. The temptation naturally would be letting power go to your head. The emperor, male, female, if you're a male or a female, it's the energies, not the agenda. The emperor is always in battle gear, ready to protect his kingdom. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> This card actually says, use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized, a firm but compassionate leader. I like the visual on this. He holds a heart in one hand and the world in the other. What is precious to him, his kingdom, and ready to protect it. What is that temptation for you this winter? Because I'm seeing it that it may be both about love and money. Seven of Autumn. Have patience and don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next steps. A prudent investment of time or money will pay off for you. And this is landing on this offer of love. Investing in love, allowing it to, to come to fruition, nurture it, cultivate it. The Eight of Autumn. Now this is the master and the student reaching mastery. And in reaching mastery, that humility of realizing that you are a student, always will be a student. This is part of the mastery. The card actually says, do more research before proceeding. Education in the form of seminars, going back to school, apprenticeships, excellent craftsmanship, and long-term projects. This feels very much now, Taurus, like you are. It's like going back to school. It's going back to your core values, principles. those gifts and the value of you that was never lost you master it this is your mastery eight of water is being clarified by the ace of spring a new project new beginning walking away from the old into the new world beginning this new project passionately this is something that yeah this is bringing out your value understanding your value that you didn't lose your value and something is inspirational that brings that. Now, it could be this new love. But let's talk about stability, which is important to Taurus. It's time to take action. Be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams. Amazing career opportunities. Now, we have these opportunities card beside the eight of water where you're walking going for the holy grail maybe walking yeah walking away from the old world entering the new scary stuff yes but this is something you you will become very passionate about and i think inspired by this love and the emperor right brain 
That's where the light comes from, from source. You come down here, Hermit, he's carrying the light into the left brain for navigating through manifesting in the physical realm. This is spiritual, this is physical. Justice. Libra energy, the scales, bringing balance. Take the time to review the details carefully. You will win in the end. Fair and objective decisions. This feels like opportunities, lots of opportunities. The Queen of Autumn is clarifying the chariot. Now, this is interesting because the chariot, of course, is fast energy, but the queen always makes me feel slow energy. Are we seeing a balance happening here? Be practical with respect to how you proceed. Like, let's not be the bull in the china shop racing forward. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Meeting someone who can help you. Your dreams come true. So I'm feeling, Taurus, that this love has a very spiritual, gentle nature to them. The Five of Spring. Boom. This is the same energy as this. And it's clarifying it. Same, same, same. Opposing goals arising from differing opinions, feeling at odds with yourself or others, overly ambitious people. Is that the temptation? Opposition? Perhaps you're stubbornly thinking that this is how it should be, but this person thinks differently. They're following their spiritual or vice versa again uh, don't let don't get stubbornness is good for Taurus but not all the time sometimes you have to maybe this maybe this conflict is because you'll feel you'll lose that value but it's something you've already mastered so Maybe it's holding on to the old world that, and you can't, you can't, it's washing away. It's dissolving, but you're not losing the value of who you are. Perhaps this is an idea or a project that you're passionate about and others think you're nuts or this, this new project new creative force it's really got you thinking renewal is clarifying this this is the death of the old and the re the birth of the new review the past and the present so you can plan a bright new future Understanding your life purpose, releasing judgments of yourself and others. There it is, the crux of it all for that temptation card and the emperor. So there may be some confusion for you, Taurus. Like you ask, like, what the hell am I supposed to be protecting then in my kingdom if my kingdom is falling away? Here is where you, I guess, trust the plan, the universal plan for you. This is going to be, be very weird, this new system we're going into. Psychically, monetary, economically, geographically, it's all going to be it's going to be a little more difficult for earth signs than it is for water. Usually vice versa, because the earth signs keep us all grounded. But right now we're in this transition period. Transformation. 
a princess of autumn, studious, responsible, cheerful, and mischievous. Is this going to be you? Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships, well thought out plans that go perfectly. Needing a little push to get going. So that's that conflict. That second guessing, questioning, what if. And if you are feeling like the what if, this would be a good time to go back to the drawing board. You see this, become the student. You are the master. But now we have a, we have a balance coming in. Don't be afraid to learn new tricks. And it's landing on balance, justice. Being responsible, study. And this is not a suggestion to any of you Torians that you should apply for university or college because I think they're all crap. This is the old world. That was not education. That was schooling to brainwash us. And we haven't been in control of our own brains, our own minds for too long, many thousands of years. That old system is dying. We're becoming, going into that telepathic, more uh, like the decalcific decalcification of our pineal glands. Intuitive. Clarifying the lover's card is the Prince of Autumn, dependable, protective, chivalrous. So maybe this is the emperor coming into your life. Dependable, protective, chivalrous, and humorous, cautious, but wise action, meticulous attention to detail, kindness to others. So if this is you taking on this energy because it's earth energy, be kind in everything you do, even if you disagree, even if there's opposition, because this person truly loves you. This offer in not just love, but how to go forward. Look at all the earth energy here and the passion. But a lot of psychic energies here, connections to each other. Ace of Winter. Don't be deterred by these challenges, Taurus. Along the way, it's important to communicate clearly and accurately. These are amazing new ideas coming to you that should be implemented. And that little wee BB cat is going to grow up to be a ginormous, powerful protector. And it is landing on your path, your destination. The Ace of Winter is about truth, about higher sight, higher, higher consciousness, being able to see past that horizon. The Two of Summer. Well, this is your soulmate. Perhaps your soulmate goes into a time of hermit mode and maybe that's a temptation keep knocking on the door when they need to have some time alone. I'm just throwing that out there. That's not necessarily true. But maybe this is you going within, doing that hermit thinking and saying, okay, I'm used to being really grounded and I'm really, you know, uh, convicted about the way I've been. Well, this is the way I've been all my life. And, you know, but old dogs can be tr taught new tricks too, right? from the master to the student to search soul searching so this is about falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone this is a soulmate forgiveness and the resolution of a problem don't give up if there's a problem in your relationship it can be healed Ah, uh, what a nice final clarifier is the Six of Spring. That's victory on this new project, this new beginning that is going to be shining brightly for you. You're also going to be recognized 
uh, people looking to you uh, with admiration. So don't let it go to your head. Be the emperor. Wonderful news is on its way. Smart choices that bring reward, success, and public recognition. This looks like you paving a, a, the way for others. This new beginning. A role model. It's victory. It's also victory in commitments, relationships. I hope that helps you when you face these challenges in the winter, Taurus. To my subscribers, God bless you. And to those who haven't, I hope you do. And I hope to see you all again very soon. Bye-bye for now.